Well, we got Dixie in here. The two of them, Onyx and Dixie, were curled up in a bed together, staying warm. But I figured I'd get them used to. I got the heater going in here. I hope these guys figure this out. It's actually I can make another house or right here <laughs> and uh, put another heater in it. I got enough for four of them. Plus boots. So here's a, here's a Onyx. What are you doing, huh? This guy's ain't even cold. It's like, I don't know what the hell it is. 38? It's not even cold. It's so curled up together in a little meow meow bed. Eh. <laughs> He's a little one. He's not, he doesn't have as much fur as the other ones do. I figured to get him. If he gets, I don't know. I don't, he didn't seem cold. I touched his fur. But, um,. I figure it's going to get colder than today. What is it? November... I don't know if it's the 28th or 29th or whatever it is. 20, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's just... If it's just about the 28th, because it's almost midnight right now. So... We're having some unusually cold weather, even across the entire nation, except for West Coast, but the Northeast. And um, I looked up in my mountain property up in Tennessee. I think it was down going down to 21 or 22, and there's some snow. <laughs> I was like, it's only November and snowing already. Not that it'll stick around, but it's an unusually cold year. And it's going to continue that way more so and more so. So, right, little Dixie? And I was worried about him to say this afternoon, but he showed up. But, I, you know, I just can't freaking always look where these guys are, but they know what they're doing. It's not extremely cold out. It's uh, probably, I don't know if it's 38 yet, but it's supposed to go down to 33. I'm guessing it's around, but there's no wind. There's no wind. So I gave him some treats. Some of that. <clears throat> some of this is a flavor burst. Dry stuff, add light vitamins, colloidal silver, three cans of food. And, uh, I don't know what the, this is my old thermometer. Oh, this might show up pretty good. Oh, it's above 40. It's not that damn bad. It's supposed to go down to 33. Oh, crap, it's like 48. It didn't seem like it was that damn cold. No wind though. See all the lights are out there still. You can see a flag blowing off in the breeze without me even putting a light on it. <laughs> so we'll just uh it's the, both of them were curled up down in here. These two. Him you and Dixie right now is in Boots the Cat's house, so Right? <laughs> we got a Sons of American Revolution meeting tomorrow. <laughs> Second one, one, two. And I'm in that now because I got a letter. I didn't get the certificate or nothing, but I got a letter from or an email from National. Which means I'm on their email list, which I already went through state. I just think they're just, you know, it's going to take a little while for the actual certificate in there. That one's a hard one to get into because there's a lot of people that got relatives, not a real lot, but there's a lot of applications out there. But you got to have real good documentation. And a lot of times that real good documentation doesn't exist. Newspaper stories and cemetery records, I mean, that don't matter. You got to have. Something pretty, you know, hardcore documentation. The census is back then. Um, they didn't have uh, the whole family on them. They just had head of household and how many were in the household. That was it. And later on, they said, you know, who the names were and all this kind of crap. So, you know, I think from 1850 on, you could figure out who the hell is who is, who's what. You had good government documentation. But before that... 1700s, forget about it, man. That's what's hard to get into that Sons of American Revolution. I know I got really four direct relatives or descendants, two of my last name to go back to that time. 
And I could probably prove them through other records, but I found one that was already documented on the Daughters of the American Revolution up to 1865 or something like that. And then from there, it was, it was good to go. So, my right, little fella, looks like he looks like the daddy. It's a little Dixie. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it's not going to be as cold as a freaking forecast. Because, man, I, was, I think I was a little worried about it. I was like, whoa, it wasn't even that cold last night. It hasn't been that cold here yet. I haven't even used my kerosene diesel heater yet. And, uh,. All of a sudden, I saw, well, it's pretty cold out today. And uh, I looked at the forecast. It said it's going to go down to 33, and I got worried about the cats. But it's it's not, it's only like 48, 47. It's midnight already, so I guess it'll be fine. There's, a heat, there's heat coming off that pad. That thing's plugged in. It's got a nice, it's not hot. It just, it just feels warm. If they stay in that thing, maybe it's a little house in there. Just a little house. <laughs> right? You like your treats, huh? Anyway. Over and out. All far, everything's fine here in the Confederate cat form. And uh, maybe tomorrow I might be wearing uh, I go to the Sons of the American Revolution media. I might be wearing my Confederate reenactor trousers. I'm gonna break them in a little bit. I got the suspenders and the shirt coming too. So, that completes everything. I'll have the shirt, the suspenders, the pants, the shoes, um, the shell jacket. I'm waiting on a boonie hat, whatever you want to call it. What do you mean to call that? The uh, slouch hat. And I got a couple keepies already, though. And I got the belt, the holster, the pistol, ammo pouch, the bowie knife, the whole thing. So, and I hope to be out there... Uh, the next reenactment is sometime mid-January, 2019. I hope to be out there filming at it. And there's another one in February. These are supposedly pretty big size reenactments, too. So I hope to be filming at all day. So, and I'll be wearing, now I won't be reenacting, but I'll be going there as a Confederate. <laughs> it's pretty cool the good side <laughs> not the communist side not the communist Yankee side got out of Nazi communist New Jersey a long time ago man I mean I came down here in 96 but I was in the uh, I escaped out of New Jersey into the USMC in 1982 so <laughs> I ain't been to New Jersey in a long time Except for some parts. So one one year I was, was up there one winter of 95-96. When I got out of the Marine Corps. It's up to that one winter. Deciding on where I was going to go. was down south. Either South Carolina. But then I saw North Central Florida. And it's just, it's just all empty here when I got here. <laughs> no more. But it's the building has slowed down a lot. It really did. If we go into an economic, real big time stall, I think we get no more crowd. Actually, I'm pretty close to the Cali National Forest, so it's not like I mean, uh, that's a big ass forest, man. And I'd like to, uh, you know, do some video shooting a gun in Cali National Forest rifle range, but YouTube don't let you shoot, you know, don't let you post anything for crying out loud with that kind of junk, you know what I mean? Unless maybe I put it on my other channel, which ain't monetized, and there's like no views on it. So, right, little onyx. <laughs> this guy is like a dog, man. He just follows me. You follow me? I was out there fixing a fence today. You follow me like a little puppy dog, weren't you? I don't know where those other two go, but. Every time I worry about them, they come back, so I don't worry about them too much. The cats, I think they, they're not too small anymore. And Feather knows she knows what the hell she's doing because she's a mama. Paws is a pretty big-sized kid. 
not too afraid about them anymore. Right? You licking your paw after your meal? Huh? <laughs> These are good Confederate cats. Sure are. Yeah. He's cute, isn't he? He's a cute cat. Hopefully he's staying in there because that pad is nice and warm. Hope they figure it out because actually they can all fit in that damn thing. There's plenty of room there. They can all just pile in there. <laughs> They'd be warm as shit. But I don't know where the hell they go. It's like you can't talk to a cat. Like you can talk to them and they can kind of get your general feeling of what they're, you're saying. But you can't explain something to them. You gotta just kind of stick their nose in there and figure it out. So that's why I stuck the treats in there. So, you know, figures out it's warm. I know Boots, last winter, he was in here quite a few times. That's why that's his house. Little Boots, he's got one General Lee Drive and Lucky Lady Motor Oil. That's his house, man. This is his son, Dixie. And Onyx is his other son. That's the one you saw there. And Paws is his other son. Mom cut his feather. Yeah, looking good, little guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> good little sucky. <laughs>